Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Stine and today I'm here with another yarn talk video. And as you know, we cannot do any yarn talk videos without my a faithful tea, which today is um, the Dutch blend from Pickwick, which is like, um, it's kind of bit like towards an old grayish black tea, but with a hint and flavor of orange. Um, it's, it's one of the comfort teas that I do drink a lot, um, as on a general basis. Um, and yeah, honestly, it's really gotten tea time, hasn't it? Um, the winter is coming, at least for up, us up here in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, I really feel it's come because, you know, I can look outside and it's just gray. It's super dark in the morning. And right now, even today, it's great. Like there is not enough light from the outside that gets indoor without me needing to have the lights on or it's just, it just feels utterly dark. Um, so yeah, winter is, is absolutely here or at least the time of the year where it's winter. Um, raining, gray, misty. Um, yeah, it's just not as light as it used to be. And I'm kind of used to it. Like, you know, being from Denmark, um, it was even a bit darker compared to here in the Netherlands, though it's just still like, I still prefer summer because it's just lighter and warmer. I'm, I'm a person that like warmth and heat. Um, anyhow, let's get on with the yarn um, and my projects. Um, I've absolutely not reached as far as I had expected I would last week. On the other hand, I should have known that the likelihood that I was going to reach as much as I had hoped was going to be slim, simply because it's been crazy busy at work. And when I haven't worked, I've been more like, OK, I need to do this and this and this also. Um, so crocheting has kind of like fallen a bit behind. Um, but it's OK. Um, life takes priorities sometimes. And my full time job is what's paying my bills and for my yarn. So. I need to do that. Anyhow, for the very show, I have done and progressed a reasonable amount, I would say. Um, not as far as one could hope, and I'm not so sure if I will reach to finish it before I go on vacation. But, 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 let's see if I can show it up, because I have started now getting to the outer edge, where you can actually slowly see that I'm adding a hint of blue. So. One of the threads now in these, um, see if I can get my camera to zoom. One of these threads has, are now light blue. So it's now like um, purple with a light blue hint on the outer edge. So it's kind of slowly starting to show its color and and it's starting to get a nice size. So, so this is where I'm about in the skein. You can still see I have some purple left before I enter the blue. Which is not that wide because I think, I'm not sure if I will get four strands of blue. I might just get three until it goes into green. We shall see. Of course, it's always curious when you are um, working with these cake yarns, how the color kind of develops. Um, and I think I'm, I've am i making decent progress. At least you can see that's progress happened. So that's a great thing. A project where I haven't progressed, unfortunately, is my socks. Um, they are plainly much still at the exact same spot like they were last time we spoke. Um, I'm ready to start prepare for the heel before I will have to make the shaft. I'm unsure if that's shaft or the leg or whatever you want to call it. Um, if you know the right term for it. Please tell me, because English is not my native language. I'm just trying my best here. Um, but yeah, so so far, that's still my sock. So that will be the top part of the sock. That will be the butter mocking part, which is basically just double crochets. Very nice double crochets. You have single crochets up here at the foot. Um, the heel, I think, will also um, be single crochets by reading the pattern. Um, and this top part is... It's actually just changed and double crochets in a specific pattern that kind of creates this mesh net. Um, and that's also how this um, leg is going to be um, once the heel has been finished. Um, but yeah, I've taken out for the heel 
So basically I'm going to work here and I'm gonna slowly decrease to form the heel. And then once that's complete, you will flip the whole sock around and then you will actually add the shaft or the leg here, um, which is gonna be in, a, in the same pattern as this. Um, but yeah, not done anything because as I mentioned last time in my yarn talk video, the sock is, I'm following this pattern from Grubs, um, from the Blue Thunder socks, um, but right now the amount of frowns and so on compared to the size is not 100% fitting. So I need to sit down and do some math. And to do that, I just need to have like, you know, I need to be in the right mindset. And last week has been so crazy. I really haven't gotten around to it. And and that's okay. It's just, it's laying there. Um, for me to to get moving on that so i also mentioned that i'm working on headbands and i'm working on headband in the same yarn the same ice yarn that i've used for my scarf for my barret and for my track and skill gloves um from ice yarns and so far um i've more or less completed the length i'm right now in doubt if i need one more row before i i wrap it up so basically um, this is not just closing it together because this will actually like tie a sort of a knot so that you get a knot on the front head. Um, but lengthwise, let's see if I can actually do it lengthwise. It's getting there. So it's, it's pretty close. I'm sorry for the, for the lack of, but that's kind of how it's supposed to eventually end up looking. I know my hair is crazy, but I hope you guys survive that. Um, so that's what's going to happen with this one. I'm almost there and ready to tie the knots. So I'm very sure and confident that this will be a finished item next Yarn Talk video. So on next week, Monday. Um, I also started on a different headband for which I'm going to make one of my classic from start to finish videos. Um, and I'm making this in the Carnival yarn from Hobby. Um, and this is basically the progress I've made so far. And this is a very nice variegated yarn. And you can also see that here. And the variegation compared to the ice yarns here, where you can see ice yarns is more like, it's getting more like merled when it's getting crocheted, where this is actually, you can actually see the gradient or variation of the color. Um, and it's also a roving style yarn, this, and it's 100% um, premium acrylic yarn. The Carnival yarn is super soft, um, but it's going to be quite a while before this is going to turn into a headband. I actually hope I have enough yarn on this skein to do so, um, but um, I will see how far I get when I'm done. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the slow progress I'm making on it. And what I wanted to do is actually um, I have a full skein. So this is not a full skein anymore. This is like, um, I think I weighed it up and there was like 65, 66 grams left. And I was like, okay, that should be enough for a headband. So I hope it's going to be enough for a headband. Um, and if not, I'm just going to crochet for as long as this yarn will allow me. And we'll see. Um, and the other skein I have of these, I want to make a pair of dragon skull gloves as well. So that I do have a blue window set. Um, and if I cannot fit the headband, I'm probably going to put that set up for sale. We will see. Um, that's about it for now. Um, the week is kind of crazy and I'm trying to catch up on a thing. But my goal is to have a few, as few projects going on as possible before I do my very long um, vacation, um, which is coming up around Christmas. Um, so, so that I will have like a fresh plate to start with when I start coming back because I won't bring any any crocheting with work with me. It's just too much to carry on. Um, or at least I don't think it will bring it with me. You never know, maybe I end up bringing a small thing or two, but that's not the plan. The plan is just to leave all this at home and go enjoy um, an experience of a lifetime. But that's about it for now. This was a very short and quick video because last week has been crazy as as, as is. 
and next week is gonna be crazy and you know the next couple of weeks in general it's gonna be crazy because Christmas is coming up it's just been Black Friday right now it's supposed to be Cyber Monday um, it's all concepts Black Friday Cyber Monday some concepts we have grabbed from America here in Europe and what happens is basically um, they cause a lot of extra work for me during this period at my job and since I am paid to be available and to do my job, that's where I need to focus my time. Um, and Christmas as well is also a busy time of the year and that's just how it is. I will have so much more time to do stuff and show you lots of neat tricks and so on when we do get closer to February. Um, but that's it for now. Um, it was a pleasure talking to you and showing you my limited albeit still progress from our last week's work. Um, I wish you all a very great week ahead. Happy crocheting, happy crafting. Take care, and if you haven't done it yet, don't forget to subscribe and ring the little bell so that you get notified whenever I do post new videos. Bye.